Yeah, the LPS uh, too. Just put a little bit on the guys. Operate a couple of times, and they'll make it easier to operate. Also, you can put a little bit of, on this cable housing here. It'll, it'll absorb right in there and make it a little smoother going around that bit. Uh, this is rubbing here, and that, that should be a readjusted so yeah, it's not going to be a good situation. On most pre-flights, I shove it up a little bit. Yeah, but it'll work way down, so the best thing to do is <laughs> you're treating a symptom, not the cause. <laughs> right, absolutely. Okay. All right. So your, your muffler here has no flame cone in it, which it should. Okay. okay. So I would suggest the annual or whatever. Flame could, this, this airplane type certificate with a flame cone in it, so it needs to have it back. All right. And, and just take it up. Okay. And bring it. Whoa, you're moving too fast. Okay, and just bring it back halfway if you could, please. That's good. She's good tight. Stop. And bring it back to the stop. That'll cut off. That's good. Thank you. All right, let's go to the prop control. I want to go to the prop control. Stand by, let me get it in sight. Okay, bring it back about halfway. The prop control. No, no, the prop control, please. Yeah. Okay, just take it up just a little bit for me. Push it in a little bit. Okay, hold it right there a minute. Just make sure it's not okay. it gets a little, it gets a little stiff when it's cold. Yeah. Okay, forward. All the way forward, please. All the way forward. That's good. You look up there; it's kind of dry too. And again, if you try to put some move on that slide. Uh, see okay. Yeah. Put some Just go about halfway if you could. That's good right there. Thank you. Let me just. You always want to check. Again, this spring is important to be in there. Without it, these things really wear pretty fast. This is the interconnect link between the throttle and your micro, uh, your uh, metal mixture control, which is right down here. It's all good and snug. Okay, go. Keep going forward. Full throttle. Okay, that's good. And bring it back idle. Good. Okay. This is firewall valve. It's all the way over the right. Left, I mean. Far left, red valve under the panel, red red knob. It, it takes a pull, but it did move. And let me give you just a little assist. How's that? Okay. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, look, I'll tell you what. Maybe I'll just give a look. You got to like the LPS too. Okay. We'll just put. Oh, we want to get And again, I've only found two of them. Well, three. Yeah. It was a top forward bolt that was left, left loose, and the drain holes are loose, or are nice, and they're open too, which is good, right here. Okay. Make sure the drain plug is, uh, yeah. drain hole is clear. Yeah, and it's, and as far as uh, those, you know, it's, if you, the wing bolts, you know, a lot of people haven't replaced that at some point in the interval, I don't know the event he's like, but, you know, at 15 years, we recommended that an MDI is being replaced in five year intervals after that. We're checking the uh, wing bolts right now. Check safe switch. Okay, we're good there. Good. Check that internal clearance. Pull that circuit breaker. Yeah, okay. Just checking the internal clearance. That's where you, when you have the gear down, you should have like an eighth or eighth to a quarter. Eighth to a quarter. Counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. So let's make sure that the. Huh? 
counterclockwise. Yeah, you want to dress it, Daniel. So it's so it's at a half, and it should be an eighth to a quarter. Typically, yeah, yeah that's, that's what you'd like to see. And that's what did you rebuild the motor, or is that a brush yeah, issue, or is it just a positioning? It's probably it, probably just an adjustment to where you start with, and if it's not consistent, then it could be something else. But I'd start with an adjustment. Okay. So. All right, you want to crank the inboard gear doors down, so it's. A little more. Just keep going. A little more. That's good. See there might be some up adjustments there to deal with. All right. This has got. Right. This has a little bit more movement that I would typically feel comfortable with. So again, something doing an annual, you want to go up inside. There's a. There's a link for the down layer, for the, for the inboard gear doors that comes off the gearbox to the, the dog crank on the forward uh, spar. And also your up lock cable attaches to that. So what you end up doing is you want to make sure the hardware is all good and tight there to begin with. And then you might have a rod in situation. But right, there's, there's quite a bit of movement there. So I, I have a feeling that there could be some hardware that just needs to be retorked to begin with. And if you can take out about half of that, mm -hmm. one could be satisfied. And, and show it's full travel again. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, it, but right now I'm just a, a little concerned. Okay. And, you know, the cracks up in here, you know, these are good. You know, they'll have a tendency to crack, and these gear doors will sometimes crack here. But it's all, that all looks to be normal. The track rod is good. How's the rotation? Okay, what are you doing here? This plunger up here, this uh, spring, I want to see that. It, there's no drag on it. Okay. See that right there? Okay. That's what you want. Just spin around here a little bit. Okay, I'm just sitting. Noise here. It's getting to be a little gooey. You're always going to have a little movement right here. <laughs> There and see, you should not see any movement down here. We're seeing movement down there, so I would this drag leg bushing here <laughs> on one side that's going to need to be uh, that lower bushing needs to be replaced, it's worn. And I would also do this one up here on the knee that's got too much movement to it. You'll see some, but this is more than you normally see, so those two need to be addressed. Okay, and again, it's sort of an annual event, replace the bushings. But you want to make sure that the people torque it against there and there is a specific torque in the maintenance manual. It's not much. It's like something like 25 to 75 inch pounds. So it's not much. Yeah. So they're, they're, those are, they should be tight against the bushings. Okay. So make sure that you get, get that taken care of. Okay. I can move it. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. I think that one's tight. This one here rotates a little bit. I would take the cotter pin out, probably take it up a cast and try it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is an interesting situation you may want to look at when it's on the ground. This has the Cleveland mod on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a good S term in it. Right. Yeah. And it's been a modded. Um, uh, just for your information, as far as the SCC goes, rules, it's installed right. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the things you do have is if you ever have a situation where you would collapse, most likely these things would make contact and you could break one off and lose a brace. The fix for it, if you went and looked at a later model airplane, there's a bracket that fits around here. Okay. All you have to do is shorten up this line, reflare it, put it on here, and move that up to there, and you can remove that risk. Oh, okay. Cool. And put a 16 inch, 16 inch hose on it. Okay. You have to buy a new hose. You have to buy a new hose. Right. But this is such a simple mod. I mean, just mm -hmm. cut it, flare it, put the bracket on it, use the same fitting on it. But it's, it's safe-wise. You don't have that. And actually, under 4313, the Bible in which the mm -hmm. mechanics work with, uh, that's unacceptable. Okay. The, the Ben raises.